He mentioned He mentioned Imam Ahmad rahimahullah he say and abandoning sitting with the people of innovation sitting with the people of innovation sitting with the people of innovation Shaf Rabi hafizahullah he say yani وترك والجلوس abandoning the sitting meaning مع اصحاب الاهواء with the people of desires why are they called people of desires abu zura لماذا سمي اهل البدعه اهل الاهواء احسنت لانهم يتبعون اهواءهم they follow their desires احسنت So he mentioned he say لِأَنَّ مَجَالِسُ أَصْحَابِ الْأَهْوَاءِ أَوْ أَصْحَابُ أَهْلِ الْبِدْعَةِ He say because معذرة He say لِأَنَّ مَجَالِسُ أَصْحَابِ الْأَهْوَاءِ He say because of the sitting with the people of desire He say it will بارك الله فيكم He say يؤدي إلى الزيغ في الغالب He say sitting with the people of innovation he say at the end run of it it will put sickness in your heart sitting with the people of innovation it will put sickness in your heart at the end run of it it will put deviation in your heart what do you think about a person hanging around with people that smoke dope he's the only one that is not smoking though Omar what you think Huh? Right. Or oh, he always he every every day he go home drunk, second hand. So he's just gonna say that. He always go home high because of second hand, right? Right. Same thing. What do you think about an individual accompanying people that Barakallahu fikum? All their lives is about going to the going to club. He, he he's not going though. But he accompanied them. What do you think, Muhammad? One day he will go. One day he will be say, "It's on me. I'm the driver. I'm the what you call the de, uh, what, what you call that driver? No, 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 designated driver. All right, no worry, guys. DUI, not tonight. I'm the driver. I'm gonna drive y'all safe tonight. Right? What you think about the individual? He's selling, he, he accompany people that are selling dope. What you think though? And he's broke one day. What's going to happen? Oh man, forget it. He would own a whole warehouse. Start having truck loads coming from Arizona on the way to ATL. And this is a sinner though. It's a sinner. This is a sinner. So this is an individual that are sinful. They are sinful. They are sinful. Similarly, an individual accompanying people that listen to music. He might not listen to music. He listening to Quran. He listening to tafsir or this and the like. What do you think the individual he will do? When everybody sit down in a gathering, they'll be playing music. By the time you know he's singing the lyrics. Right? By the time you know him himself, he's singing the lyrics. Way before even the rapper is starting, he, he can 
just give you the whole, uh, what you call the punchline. Can give you the whole punchline before the rapper says. But how about uh, in the uh, in, in a Vader? A person accompanying in a Vader. Now this is Barakallah fi as we mentioned about the sins. That's the same exact thing Barakallah fikum as the person accompanying an innovator. Meaning you're going to end up being part of the innovation. Or you're going to end up agreeing with the innovation. Or you're going to end up beautifying the innovation for them. Or you're going to end up justifying the innovation for them. Or you're going to be end up being immune for the innovation. You're going to be immune with it. Now people dragging their pants don't hurt you no more. People cutting their lehya don't hurt you no more. It's okay. It's not bothering you no more. People singing the maulut, it's not bothering you no more. It's not like you don't have this, this hatred in your heart with people doing innovation. You don't have it in your heart no more, barakallah fikum. You immune to that. It's like you have, been, you, have the, you have the vaccine for it. It's not something that is bothering you anymore. Listen to what Shaykh Muqbir Rahimahullah said. Shaykh Muqbir ibn Hadi al-Madhali, al 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 he mentioned Shaykh Muqbir ibn Hadi al-Wadi'i. He say, al-mashi ma'a ahli al-ahwa. He say, going, sitting, or walking with the people, with the people of innovation. He say, yu'tabar. It will give to the one that goes with him he say, kathir min al amrad, a lot of sicknesses. He say, an individual accompanying the people of innovation that will give him a lot of sicknesses. A lot of sickness. A lot of sickness. But he mentioned, al mashi ma'a as ahlu sunnati, wal julusu ma'ahum. He say, fi himayatillah. Sitting with the people of the Sunnah, accompanying the people of the Sunnah, he say, in it is the safety from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In it is safety from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Shah Rabbi Hafidhullah he mentioned, he say, Wa kathirun min al nas yagtaruna bima indahum min al ma'rifa. He say many people have been deceived by what they have with them of understanding or knowledge. They feel that they have an enough understanding, enough knowledge that they can go anywhere or they can accompany anywhere or anybody. Because they think they understand the deen. So therefore I'm equipped to go to anyone or to go to any masjid or to go to any gathering. I'm equipped. Because I have knowledge of the religion. He says some people have been deceived. They have been deceived by the little bit of knowledge that they have. Or the little bit of understanding that they have. They have been deceived. He says, Or in that which that they have with being intelligent. Now they think that I'm intelligent enough. I can go and debate these guys. Or I can go sit with the Sufi. Or I can go sit with the Tijani. Or I can go and collaborate and mix and mingle with the Tijani. Why? Because I have a good understanding with the religion now. Because I know this verse. I know this hadith. I know this qaida. Or I know this, you know, I, can, I know this Ibn Kathir, what he say about this. I know what Imam Al-Si'id say about this. I know what Shia Uthaymin said about this. Now I'm equipped to go. Or I read half of Usul Usul Sunnah. I read Masail Al-Jahiliyyah. Now I can go, Barakallah Fiq. I can go and then sit with the people of innovation. I can go and mix and mingle with them. Imam Ahmed, he say, do not sit with them. Do not sit with them. Do not sit with them. If do not sit with them is 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 barakallah is, is not the lightest thing to do, to do. He didn't say barakallah. Do not yani go out with them. Don't go socialize with them. And these are from those matters that every one of us barakallah fikum can test himself in regard to of his salafiyya. Who are the people that you are hanging around with? 
Who are the people that you spend for your Mondays all the way to Sundays with? Who are the people that you go even shoot ball, barakallah fikum? Who are the people that you go play soccer with? Okay, this is very important. Now you're going to go play soccer with individual, they will swear by Ahmed Bamba. And you're going to be playing like there is nothing wrong with it. Right? Or you're going to be going drink some attire with individuals that believe in bainas. Or they might have a big picture of it. Or they might be having the tape playing on the back, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the side. Or you have individual they tabliri and they ain't hiding it. But you want to go hang out with them. Let's go to the restaurant. Let's go to the cafe. Let's go drink a little bit, sip some, some, some tea or some coffee. Some Ethiopian coffee. Let's go sip some. Now this is very good, but this is a point that all of us, alhamdulillah, we should look into. Because al-mar'a ala dini khalili. Al-mar'a ala dini khalili. The individual is upon the religion of his, of his companion. Who are our companion? That's why Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah, rahmatan wasi'a. When he came, he asked about fulan. What do you say about such and such? He said, he is with us. I mean, he is with the sunnah. And he asked, who is his companion? He said, oh, he hang out with the qadari. He hang out with the qadari. He said, so idhan fahuwa qadari. Then he is a qadari then. Now a person says salafiya, salafiya, but look at his surrounding. Look at who he hang out with. Look at who he sit with. Look at who he go in and go out with. Look at who he break bread with. Look at those whom he drink tea with. Look at it, Barakallah Fikum. Look at it. And without a doubt, as the Salaf used to say, one can hide his aqidah. One can hide his aqidah. But one cannot hide his companions. You can't hide your friends. You can't hide your friends. But your aqidah, you can hide it. You can come, oh, I'm Salafi. Alhamdulillah, you got your pants all above your ankle. Your lahya is, mashallah, all the way to, the, to, the, to your navel. Right? You got all the aspects of Salafiyyah. You call Shaykh Rabi, Shaykh Albani. Alhamdulillah. You, you know, but you're those who you hang out with. Who are those? Who are those? Like this individual, Dawood Boja, he would say, Ibn Qayyim, Ibn Al Jawzi, Kada wa Kada from the ulama of the past. But who he hang out with? Who are his, his, his right hand man? Who are they? Except they are Sufi. What you call it again? Marabu man. Juju maker. Root walker. It's what they are. Barakallah fikum. Now is he different from them? Is he different from them? The individual is upon the religion of his friends. You see the individual he is, walhamdulillah, accompanying himself with the Salafi. You see him, walhamdulillah, not being among those who, they are confused. They are not looking for the truth. They want to please everybody. Today they are here, tomorrow they are there, the next day they are up there, you know, valsing around. Alhamdulillah, the, the Salafi is, he is clear upon his position. Clear upon his position of truth. He is not seeking to please nobody. So therefore, this is, that's why we're learning the likes of this book. We're not learning so we can flip the page and move on. We're learning to be upon pure salafiyah. We're learning to be upon, upon al-wuduh, upon crystal clear barakallah fikum manhaj. That's why we're learning it. We ain't learning it just like any, oh, we, oh, we read usul sunnah five times, and we're still doing the same thing, even worse. Then what's the, what was the point of? This is a hujjah against us. This will be a against us. And you all know the evil of innovation. The innovation will prevent the individual from what? In akhirah. Innovation will prevent the individual from what? In akhirah. In the akhirah. Hassan? It depends. 